This is Phil Chandler. I'm going to show you today how to get a swarm out of a basket that they've been in for nearly two weeks in this case and into a hive with a minimum disturbance, I hope. So this swarm here was caught about two weeks ago, just like just under two weeks ago, I think, and due to a combination of me not being around and uh, inclement weather, I've actually left them in the basket for that period of time. I normally would only leave them in for um, maybe four or five days up to a week. So they've, they're well settled into this basket, basket. They will have built some comb. I don't exactly know how much comb yet, um, but what I'm going to do is transfer them into this little top bar hive here. It's only a small one because that's what I've got to hand at the moment. and. Uh, they will eventually go into a full-size hive, but this is uh, simply to show you the process of transferring bees from a basket into a top bar hive. And so the first thing we're going to have to do is move this basket aside. You'll see that the bees are well used to coming in and out of that entrance. They know exactly where that entrance is and so we need to place the entrance to the new hive as close as we can to that point so that the bees that are coming in from foraging can find their way home straight away and we'll go through the whole sequence from beginning to end and you'll see how easy it is i hope Of course the bees don't understand what's happened yet, the, the flying bees are going to come back to this point here. Okay, so this hive is now in place. There's entrance holes pretty much where the hole in the basket was. So the bees understand now that this is going to be home. And all I've got to do now is to get the colony into that position, into that basket. To do that, I'm going to use a couple of top bars. I've lifted the entire colony out of the basket using two top bars at the ends and now I'm going to place them carefully in their new box, not quite carefully enough as it turns out because I've allowed a couple of the bars to slip. Okay, now then, I'm just going to close up the gaps here.
quite a few bees in the basket which I'm now going to tip into the hive. There's a, a piece of comb here that was in the hive that I put into the basket which has obviously come adrift slightly but that doesn't matter. And here's the rest of the bees that were in the basket and they're now going to go Space for them. That's the end of the hive here. see there's a bit of a traffic queue forming at the front here because suddenly their hive has uh, changed shape. It looks a little different to what it did when they left. So they're just uh, figuring out what's happened in the meantime. of probably in a matter of 10 minutes or so there will be no unusual activity around the hive the bees will have settled in and they're going about their lives as they were before now of course this is a small hive I wouldn't leave them in here indefinitely but uh, for the time being this is their home so a nice easy way of getting bees from swarming state into a basket and then into a hive with minimum disturbance So this is just a few minutes after the transfer and you can see there's the bees are coming back to the hive and uh, they're mostly finding their way straight into the to the entrance there's one or two grouping together in the corner there but they'll figure it out quite quickly and because there was only a single hole in the basket and uh, there's actually three holes in this hive. I'm actually going to close two of these holes because the weather's uh, still pretty cool for the time of year and although there's a lot of foraging activity going on I don't want to risk this hive not being able to defend itself 
properly against uh, things like wasps. So I'm just going to close up two of those entrances, but that should be fine. Mm -hmm.